Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in today's video, Phil, or should I say Milo, is taking Phil for a walk. So Phil's off lead, um, he's free to do what he pleases because um, he's under com control and listens to commands. I've only bought Phil because it's easier. Um, but yeah, My Milo's currently taking him for a walk. Best get up and get moving, follow Milo where he wants to go. Uh, but we do this every so often. Milo does come camper vanning with us usually when we go travelling. So he's he's a cat well adapted to change. Just, just dragging Phil along, don't mind Milo. Um, so yeah, so we are just taking Milo out for a little walk in the park. Just Phil and Milo. Um, and yeah, we do this as often as I can. It's been less since we've had Mia. Um, hold on, let me get them in, in the frame. It's always Milo dragging Phil around too. You'd think it would be the big dog dragging the cat around at speed. But Phil's an old man now. Do you know actually as well, Phil is now classed as a senior dog in dog... Oh, you can sit down. He's good chill. Who for? He's classed as a senior dog in um, dog food category. It absolutely shocked me. I didn't think a eight-year-old dog, he's not even eight yet, he turns eight in four weeks. Um, but I didn't think an eight-year-old dog would be a senior. And that's really hit me hard. Um, but yeah, he's nice and slow and steady. And he's also Milo's like security blanket. It's where Milo feels safest with Phil, as opposed to Nico and Teddy, who are a bit more playful and a bit faster. Um, so yeah, so we bring him out with Phil and just go for a little, a little stroll. Usually it's only like five, 10, maybe 15 minutes, it's not much, but it's nice to get him out of the house because he is a house cat. Um, and yeah, so he's my now. You don't really like it when the cars go past though, do you, Bubba? No, you don't. Obviously he's a house cat, he's not really used to cars and traffic, but we make the best of it. Um, so yeah, let me just turn the camera around so you can see them now. Milo leads, always. We do actually have a cat backpack as well. I need to show you that when we get back. That I sometimes take him out in, especially if we take him to like the beach or something. Milo quite loves the beach. So yeah, sometimes we'll get the cat backpack out because it's easier to cart him around for a bit until we get to the right destination. Look at you guys. Picture perfect. I think we just got my cover photo. You're a good boy. Milo, speak. Milo. Hey, buddy. See, so, yeah, I just like to get Milo out the house every so often when I've got five minutes. Give him a change of scenery and keep him used to change of sceneries as well because cats are renowned for not liking change. Whereas if they're constantly introduced to it from a very young age, they'll never know any different. And yeah, Milo's a good boy. Oh, oh no, Milo, I apologize right now. I think something's about to happen. Let me free Milo because Phil's about to go to the toilet. Oh, it's nice to see you pulling Milo along for a minute. So you're getting all caught. Oh, oh. Phil, you sat on him. You sat on Milo, you big doofus. You big doofus, aren't you? Look at you. Just chilling. Milo, speak. Milo, speak. Good boy. Good boy, Milo. Good boy. Oh dear, what's going to happen here? Oh no. One of you's going to have to figure it out. I need one of you to figure it out. Phil, you're the dog, so you're supposed to be smarter. 
figure it out. Good boy. Come on, Phil. He's almost got it. Come on, Philip. Good boy. Right then, are we home? Home sweet home. Come on then. In you go. Hello. Come on then. Let's go find Teddy. Oh, Philip. Oh, he's Teddy. Milo, Teddy's there. She, I think Milo's hiding behind you to avoid Teddy. There we go. Hello. I'm going to pick Milo up because I don't trust you, Teddy. Hi, we missed. Where's Neeks? Where's Nico? Can we come in? Want to go in the garden or do you want to go inside? Come in. Oh, and there's Nico. And there's Nico. You're going to find Dad. Okay, you go do that. Hi, Neeks. Teddy. Oh, hello. He's home. He only went on a short walk. Don't worry, we're still going to go on one. But you'll turn in a little bit. It will. So, guys, we are home now, and that was our dog walking our cat video. Um, if you're interested, I will now show you Milo's harness uh, that he wears in the garden. He's actually got a few docking points in the garden. That's one of the, like, I think they're called carabiners. Um, and it's on a bungee cord lead, so he's just free to roam in the daytime in the garden. Um, so I'll show you his harness and his cat backpack. Um, yeah, I'll show you these things. So guys, this is our cat pack. Show you around you can just wear over it's completely breathable a uh, little bottle holder and stuff and he just goes in there on his little bed um yeah and we got it originally from a company called bingo paws which you can shop on amazon uh but yeah if we're going to the beach or something or going out in the camper van we'll often take him around the cat backpack and then his harness on him it's actually i found it really difficult to find a harness for milo he used to wear um, like chihuahua sized harnesses dog harnesses uh, but I found this one on eBay for a cat. Let me just take it off. And it goes over his back like that. And then one round his neck and one round his, the longer one around his belly. So this is an extra large cat harness because the ones that you usually buy for cats are tiny and not Milo's size. He's a big cat. You're a big boy, aren't you, Milo? Yes, you are. Hope you enjoyed your day out. Little trip out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye everyone.